We are now recording on iPhone. This is going to be a super short video because I wanted to share with you my workflow for doing that infinite zoom thing that's been trending on YouTube lately and on YouTube shorts. I'll insert some footage here so you know what I'm talking about. Okay, let me find it for you here. This is a video. This is a similar video to what I'm talking about here on TikTok. Oh, here we go. This thing right here. Boom. Out. Boom. Out. Boom. And boom. Out. Boom. Out. Boom. So that's the, that's kind of the trend that I'm talking about that I'm going to show you how to do in this video that I already recorded. This is an editor's note. Bye. Okay. Now that that's done. I'm going to go over the process two or three times to do the infinite zoom thing. And by the time I've gone over it that many times, you already know what I'm talking about. So let's get started. Go to Photoshop, open up Photoshop, new file, 1920 by 1080, since this is for YouTube. Okay. Here are the steps in order. I want you to write this down. If you're trying to do this, this is very important. If you miss any of these five steps, um, it's going to make your life a lot more miserable. Once you get to the end of the project, you're going to have stuff happen. Like you're going to lose quality or you're going to be missing images, but make sure you do all this stuff, scale it down to 50% or whatever percentage you're using. Use generative fill to fill out the edges, merge layers, Otherwise, generative fill will get confused. Save as a PNG sequentially, number them. And then to get ready for your next object, convert to a smart object. That way you're not gonna lose quality if you bring it up and down. And then you're just gonna pop back to step one, scale down to 50% and make sure you go through all of these. Okay, that's my last editor's note, hopefully. Okay, back to the video. Let's bring in an object, whatever you want to expand on. You can do this with anything, open, F drive footage. Okay, let's just use one of these AI generated images. These look really cool. So it's down here in the layers panel. We're gonna pull this up into our 1920 by 1080 project, which is right here. And we're going to hold alt and pull down one of the bounding boxes until we've got this the proper size. Actually, this is a good place to start our best practices, okay? We've imported the image. Before we get started, let's click on the image, right click and convert to smart object. We'll be doing that again multiple times. Let's see what happens if we do edit. Remember we're clicked on that layer, transform, go to scale. And then up here, we've got height and width bound together. So we're just gonna change this to 50%, 50. Great. Now let's get to work with generative fill. Make sure you clicked on the layer. This is the contextual taskbar. If you do not have the contextual taskbar, simply go to windows and down to contextual taskbar. This is the easiest way to add this into your workflow. We're clicked on the layer, go to rectangular marquee tool. We're gonna select this. Let's deselect that. We're going to select the right-hand side of the image, making sure to choose that little edge of the image. We're going to hold shift, do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna continue holding shift and we're gonna choose that little top of the image there and all of the checkerboards plus. And now you see the marching ants going all around this image. We're gonna click generative fill. We're gonna click generate. That's gonna fill out the rest of the image with whatever the generative fill sees fit. That looks okay. Remember, we're gonna zoom out infinitely though. This one has potential, I think. So we're going to select our generative fill layer, hold shift to add to the selection, click on our main layer, right click, merge layers. Now that we've merged layers, we want to save this object, file, export as, and we're gonna to wanna to number these sequentially. So when we go back to add the images all together to do our actual effect, there'll be a numbered order. So export, we're gonna call this zoom out one. Okay, that's saved. So what's the next step? The next step is make sure your layer is clicked. We're gonna go right click, convert to smart object because we're gonna make it smaller again. Now we're gonna go make sure we're clicked on our layer. We're going to go edit transform scale now again we're going to reduce it down to 50 percent size as you can see the dialog up here height and width are both at 100 percent. so we're just going to change one of these doesn't matter which one to 50 percent since they're linked and now it's down 50 percent size so now we're going to grab the rectangular marquee tool we're going to grab the side of the image right here making sure to choose part of the image hold shift do the same thing again on the left side on the top and on the bottom, we're gonna go generative fill, generate, and we're gonna be sure to save this. Gotta save every image for this to work right. That's wild, that's crazy, that's nuts. Let's go ahead and choose this one. So click on your generative fill layer, hold shift to add the selection, click your main layer, right click, merge layers. So same process as before, you clicked on the layer, edit, transform, scale, type in to scale here at the top, 50%. Same thing as before, you clicked on the layer, rectangular marquee tool, 
right side, hold shift, left side, continue holding shift, top, continue holding shift, and bottom, continue holding shift. Hit generative fill, hit generate. Now you can specify if you want to, when you're doing this, what you want on the outside zoom. But I'm just gonna see where AI takes this. This is the beauty of gen fill. Let's see which one's the best. Oh wow, it's getting very universal already. Let's choose that one because there's a little pyramid in on the left-hand side. So click your generative fill layer, hold shift, click your main layer, right click and merge layers. So now we're clicked on the layer. We want to save file, export as, export. We're going to call this one zoom out two. So now it's saved. First thing you do is make sure you clicked on the layer, right click, convert to smart object. So if we make the image bigger or smaller, it will not lose pixel quality. So now we're clicked on our layer. Same thing as before edit transform make sure we're clicked on our layer edit transform scale we're going to change that to 50 percent clicked on the layer rectangular marquee tool grab the right side with a little bit of your image hold shift to add to the selection left side i know i'm going through this pretty quick but it's just the same thing over and over again everything is selected generative fill hit generate wild here's your variations on the right hand side here wow that one's cool so click your generative fill layer and your main layer right click Merge layers. Merging layers is very important. Otherwise, AI will get very confused. Now it's all one you see there. So we're going to go make sure we're clicked on the image. Edit, edit, transform, scale. Make that 50%. Make sure we're clicked on the layer. Rectangular marquee tool. Make sure you clicked on the layer. Rectangular marquee tool. Right side. Hold shift. Left side. Continue holding shift. Top and bottom. Generative fill. Generate. Wow, it's getting wild. That one's a little lighter. Let's choose the lighter one. Make sure both the layers are clicked. Right click, merge layers. So now they're one. Let's go file, export as, export, zoom out. We'll call it zoom out three. Now we must right click, convert to smart object. So you're gonna scale the image to 50%. You're going to merge the layers. You're going to export your product. And then to get ready for the next stage, you're going to convert to smart object. So I'm just gonna whip through the rest of these and we'll probably fast forward through this part.